everybody welcome to another episode of fish keeping jamaica a few weeks ago i shared with you the fact that you can actually get your goldfish fried to um speed up its color with the use of paprika um by the virtue of just looking at some of the comments that um were made um regards to this um some persons question whether or not the reality actually exists now um today i Prove to you that this does exist. And what I'll be doing, I'll be actually in taking out my goldfish fry, which I have in this one, which have been here for a bit, probably about two weeks, in which I've been feeding it, feed it, in which have been here for about two weeks. I will be, I have been feeding it um paprika, um mixing its feed, and I am gonna be removing it to show you the coloration of this fish right um, for those persons who now this is a fish right I've been feeding it paprika if you can recall the video just click back on colonial goldfish you would have seen it right I'm gonna be removing it and I'm gonna be um cleaning the pond in which it exists in right it's not fully you look in the pond it's not fully colored it still have some of the brown coloring right, which is the original color right um i'll be removing one of the i removing the rest of the goldfish from the pond and i'll be comparing both and you can see the vast extent in which coloration of actually occur so stay with me this is the other pond in which my other goldfish fries were placed in Right, it was separate apart from the one in which um this goldfish fry was placed in. What I'll be doing now is to actually um remove probably about one one of the goldfish fries exits in here. I'll be placing it in there and you can compare the difference. And then I'll be placing like, this goldfish with the rest and I've been feed I I will be feeding everybody the feed with paprika and uh within a couple of days the coloration of the goldfish within the pond will change. Here I have a goldfish of the same age and size. The only difference is that this goldfish has not yet been colored. It have been I, I have been feeding it with the normal feed without the paprika. Here you have both of them together. So the one that is orange in color have been fed paprika. The one that is not orange in color have been fed in the uh, normal feed. And chances are the one that have not been fed paprika will never change its color. And chances are that the coloration for this fish may take some while. This video and the video before was primarily aimed at sharing with you how some breeders actually go about in ensuring that their goldfish have bright colors and that uh, they are able to sell them very quickly for a good amount of money right it is not something that um it normal is not individual that would, normal person would, uh, would do for example somebody who at home have a pond with goldfish would actually do right but there's no harm in it what the what the paper actually does is to uh, work within the bloodstream of the fish um which actually inspire the coloration no harm to the fish the fish is healthy and strong i've had fish which i've done this with and um the fish is alive right now and everybody's okay thank you very much last week i showed you that i actually remove my large plecker 213 inch and one 14 inch plecker from this pond right this pond had three pleckers and 49 jack dempsey now i've been feeding the jack dempsey from the other day and i realized that they are not eating i don't know the reason why right but one thing i do know this is that the jack dempsey since i have removed the plecker Though, yes the water is a little bit green because the pleco although the pleco doesn't really because of its size it doesn't really consume a lot of algae but i um it eats some right but i realized though 
is that since I have actually removed the pleco, my jack dempsey's are more free swimming in the pond. They are not, not they are they are not in the pipe, they are not at the sides, they are not in the rocks, but they are actually swimming all over the pond, which makes me feeling very good, meaning that they are now able to enjoy themselves. Right? What you should know about pleco is that plecos are aggressive territorial so wherever they find as they for example they are the place of rest during the day if they are bothered by any other fish they will jump at them and chances are because they are so big they will harm their fish right and these are common pickles not the small pickles that probably some persons may have within their pond or tank right but I'm loving my fish um, they are big. Some of them are like probably about six, seven inches in length. They are very thick. Or should I say very fat? Right. I have not. I will not. I will have to. When well, I changed water last night, probably I was gonna have to do something with the water today. But um, the water looks really different from yesterday because I've actually made some changes. But I won't feed them today because it seems as if something giving them feed down the bottom i don't know if they are eating consuming the algae but they are doing good a few weeks ago i shared with you that i had some several right so um i got the several was small and what a message and i'll tell you why i can't change it in a bit right so a friend of mine i think you actually saw a video I was showing ornamental fish keeping in Jamaica. Well, I got about 10 fish from that fish farm. Right? Some chromites. Nice fat. Uh, um, nice chromites, right? So I placed them in the pond. This is about 250 gallons worth of um, water. After placing them in the pond for about probably about a month, uh, it, it's in December, more than a month, about two months, right? uh these are the plants in which were placed in it right the plants are looking messy in which i needed to change i was about to do some maintenance on this pond when i saw some sweet swimming fries at the bottom i mean fries they surprised me i mean like about 15 fishes in it right but at the same time i saw the fries swimming and the several actually looks really large right so i don't know if the several will actually eventually eat them or the the the, the, the chromite will actually defend there's a pipe in it and that's where the fries are actually living so probably i need to get another pipe to place it in right so that's an update on this pond rain fell heavily during this week during this week rain fell heavily and my pump had a short circuit this led me to the um the discussion on whether or not your outside system is wired actually properly now when wiring your outside system you should ensure that the wires are connected properly and as best as possible you utilize a fuse system or a fuse box which will actually turn off the power supply to the pump so as to ensure that there there is no short circuit now as silly as this may sound but i use cable wires i have been using cable wires for about eight months in my system right as soon as the rain fell and the water got inside the cable wire you know cable wire it have one very firm wire in the middle and some of the frilly sections at the end right so the electrical wire was actually in it the electricity was actually in the wire now what happened is that um it is not built to carry electricity but this was the only wire i had at the time and i totally forgot to change it whenever i got the um the time to so as a result of that the this happened right so i had to now go by the electrical store purchase some new wire put some of my electrical wiring 
especially ones that are connected to each other in a pipe tuning as a means of protection and um during the course of the day i'll be digging a trench so as to lay the pipe in it so as to lay the pipe in it so as to get it underground so that it looks tidy and it doesn't cause any accident this is still needing some more work i will do that later all right okay so that's what i have to share with you regard my electrical work all my wires are on underground they are not insulated um the wires are just run i dig a trench and i run the wire underground um connecting them properly uh they are connected separately so in case water actually touch on it it is not shorted so one one leg is 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 run and it's taped or it's you know it's put together while the other leg is run separately and both are i'm going to be showing you that shortly and both are separated right? so both are actually wired separately so this is like the, the positive this is like the negative so should in case water goes in this if both of them are attached together if um there will be a short circuit and there will be some amount of problems right so i do them differently i know that i should have a junction box i know that i should have a few fuse box it should be done properly but um at the time in which it was being done i had no other choice because um the fish needed some means of it, um pump because they are getting large and i just just it just slipped me to fix it up properly i will do that and i'll probably do it and i'll do a video on that in a bit remember i'm not an electrician i'm a teacher but at the same time i am trying my best to make good with my hands okay I hope you can hear me with the water um, that is actually filling up the sponge. Now, I have always shared with you that I did a 100% water change some months back and lost about 25 fish. I'm not taking any chances in uh, doing another 100% water change, but this stuff really needs some water change. Now, a few weeks ago, I bought two cards. They are about two, one and a half inches in length. One is in my aquarium, and one is in this pond. The emphasis for this is to see whether or not both will have the same goat spurt. Now, although you are not going to be able to see this guy at this moment on camera, I'm trying to find it to actually take remove it and put it into a pond but because it is still small because this 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 is still small I'm unable to actually find it but I'm actually doing some water change here the the base of the pond is really messy but although it is messy with a lot of gunk I will not do more than 75% water change at any one time so the most I can do is probably do some more water change during the course of next week and the other week so as to bring down the amount of waste that is in this pond. By the way, most of this gunk and whatever you see in the, in the pond is algae, not necessarily poop. The poop is actually, well, most of the poop, most of the poop is actually um, taken off and filtered and it turned into that into the through the pipe into the pond uh presently the pond needs well presently the filter needs to be clean so i'll be doing that so that you have more water flowing just like how you have the water coming through the pond this should be flowing 